hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to share with you one thing that you probably never thought of trying on your hair for detangling now this will stop your hair from shedding excessively whenever you detangle or even if your hair just sheds even without detangling you definitely want to give this recipe a go because it will significantly reduce the amount of shed hair that you experience whether it is when you're detangling or perhaps you know just handling your hair in general now i'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information now before we get into the video guys let's just ag address the elephant in the room we have reached a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube like this is literally crazy like thank you so much i'm gonna make a special video just to thank you guys in a little while but i just thought i would mention it so let's hop right into the video you are going to need some flax seeds now i'm using half a cup of flax seeds for today's recipe now flax seeds not only helps with detangling your hair guys but also it helps your hair grow faster by providing it with the nourishment that it needs to do that now not only it contains protein which will help get your hair nice and strong it also contains vitamin e which helps to provide nutrition to the scalp and reduces free radical damage so i added about four cups uh, not uh, sorry not four cups two cups of water for half a cup of flax seeds now i'm also using a bit of cloves here now cloves are again extremely beneficial for high growth and maintenance in general because it helps to increase the blood flow to the scalp which essentially brings more oxygen to your follicles and more nutrients to provide faster high growth so definitely worth adding to your regimen as well so i added about half a handful of um of, of cloves so i'm just going to go ahead and pop the whole thing on the stove and just boil it for a little while Now, as the mixture starts to get a little bit slimy, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of coconut milk. Now, coconut milk contains something called lauric acid, and this helps to penetrate the hair easily and also helps to strengthen the cuticles. Now, it's also high in protein, which again helps to give your hair strength. It also has some vitamin C. E, B1, B3, B5 and B6 and these are essentially um, important vitamins when it comes to scalp health and also um, just healthy hair in general. So I'm just going to let that simmer again for just a little bit and again you just want to make sure that you're around guys so you can check it because it can definitely boil over which means if you're not there the whole thing will be on your stove pretty much so you want to stir in between now you know this is ready when the consistency has thickened a little and also it has got a bit more slimy so once that's done you just want to take it off the stove and what i will do after this is done guys i'm going to go ahead and strain it while it's still hot now it makes the process so much easier now you can strain this once it has cooled down but the thing you need to bear in mind is once it's cooled down it will become a jelly like consistency which will make it slightly difficult to strain so it's better to strain while it's still hot because all you just have to do is pour the mixture on a sieve and just allow it to drain because it's um it's still watery so this is what i have i have got left behind so i'm just going to dispose of this if you have any idea what i can do with this guys let me know in the comment section down below um i usually would just throw it away but i'm pretty sure there will be something else that that could be useful for so this is what it looks like after i have finished it guys i forgot to record the part where i added a bit of oil i went in with a bit of olive oil essentially and yeah and then i just let it cool down this is what it looks like afterwards Now in this part of the video guys, I'm going to show you basically how I use it to detangle my hair. Now if you get a lot of shed hair, 
definitely give this recipe a go guys like i tell you it is so so amazing now i detangled my hair with this and i've been using this for quite a while and every single time that i use it to detangle my hair i can definitely notice less shedding now you definitely want to um incorporate this in your routine if you find that your hair sheds a lot now bear in mind shedding is normal okay our hair sheds every single day but excessive amount of shedding is definitely abnormal and if you do experience excessive amount of shedding over time your hair is going to thin out and you will definitely see that you are losing hair so this is quite good at stopping that from happening which means you can keep more hair on your head so your hair grows every single day and the more you keep it the more you can actually um, see the results of your hair growth so this is quite good at you know um, helping with hair growth in that regard so essentially i showed you guys at the start of this clip how tangled my hair was looking how dry that was looking and all of that now as i'm using this you'll definitely see that my hair gets so much moisture which is key when it comes to retaining length and also when it comes to stopping breakage and hair loss in general so it's one of the amazing recipes that i have been using and i did recommend it to a few friends as well that were complaining about their hair shedding all the time and they came back with only positive stuff to say so yeah i do hope that you try this out guys and if you do please let me know in the comment section down below what your experience was and if you do like it don't forget to share with others um, because it will also help them in their hair journey so i always section my hair um, because it's just easier to work on in that way so after sectioning just like you saw earlier guys i did a bit of finger detangling and then i just went on with the um kind of conditioner that we made uh, earlier so i'm just showing you guys here how defined my curls are looking like how amazing is this this helps to define your curls and that's how you know that your hair is getting moisture your hair is getting repaired if it was damaged so yeah really really good so after i did that guys i'm now using a white to comb to just comb my hair properly i'm just going to start from the ends and work my way down to the roots now it's important that you comb your hair the right way or you detangle your hair the right way also to minimize breakage because if you take your comb and you start directly from your roots having not have uh, not detangled previously like i'm in your ends prior to that it is going to cause more knots and more tangles and we know more knots, more tangos just means more breakage. So it's always best to start from your ends and then work your way down to your roots. And be as gentle as you can possibly be because bear in mind also when your hair is wet is also more prone to breakage as well. So just be gentle as you are using it essentially. Now I love this more because the flaxseed, like I said guys, it gives your hair so much strength and also the coconut milk of the high protein content does help to make your hair quite strong and that's what stops it from falling out a lot um, when you're detangling so yeah i'm just going to repeat the whole thing until the rest of my hair is completely done so it's a very simple and straightforward routine and i'll suggest that you watch to the end of the video because i will get to show you how much shed hair i got out of this pretty much Now, when it comes to my detangling routine, like I love to use 
conditioners that give my hair so much slip now it's very important that when you're detangling you have enough slip because that's what helps to loose your tangles and also allow your comb to get through your hair pretty easily now if you don't have enough slip in your hair guys it's just a recipe for disaster pretty much so any conditioner that doesn't give you enough sleep is not good for detangling pretty much so you need to stick to what gives your hair moisture slip and is very very good um, because that's what will help with um, the breakage or the shedding um, that you experience now I do get lots of questions especially in my emails of people struggling with shedding and I tell you guys try this recipe and come back to me with your feedback like I'm pretty sure you will definitely love it now this not only makes detangling very very easy but it also makes it really really quick now I do have quite a lot of hair and to get through my whole hair using this it took me less than an hour literally to get my hair properly detangled and the moisture that you have in your hair after rinsing this off or shampooing your hair after this literally is insane like it is so good so 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 good now let me know if you want to see a wash day routine where i can show you guys a little bit more about what i do and what i use i'm actually planning to do one but let me know if you want to see it so that will actually push me to actually go ahead and edit those videos for you guys um so i've done this side side of my hair i'm going to go ahead and do the other side of camera because i don't want the video to be too long um, as you can imagine otherwise the video would just be way too long and then I will be back to show you what my hair looks like okay guys so at this point I have finished detangling my hair and this is what it looks like um, after it's done it's very nice and soft and this is basically how much shed hair I have guys and um, you can see it's really not a lot I usually get more shedding than this so to me this is perfect so I hope you've enjoyed watching the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next one bye